Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mitch. I'm from Detroit. Uh, during the course of the evening, you'll get to meet all the other members of the band. It's a very good band, uh, probably the best ones I've ever worked with. And uh, we'd like to do a song now for you called Rock and Roll. It's sort of a classic for us down in Detroit and uh, also, ironically, in New York City. So here we go.
I'm very uh, proud and uh, happy. Uh, I, uh, I've been living now for four years away from my, my beloved state of Michigan. I've been living down in Georgia. It's a little different down there. I think we bought a home that actually exists inside a federally protected insect uh, reservation. So, got a lot of problems that way. I did get my new senior's driver's license. You all familiar with that? The senior's driver's license? Yeah, they don't, they don't have a box for donors anymore on the senior one. Plus, you can get two pictures. You can get the regular picture, or you can get one picture of you with your eyes closed, just like when you're driving. So I thought you might be, uh, I guess they're not here in Michigan yet. Well, they're down in Georgia. So anyway, uh, we have a, a long show for you tonight. I had a little accident, um, so if I look a little gimpy, please forgive me. I didn't come here intending to dance anyway. I came here intending to sing, so uh, yeah, I'm having trouble with my right leg. Please forgive me. Uh, if I fall down, don't anybody do anything. I just want to collect the insurance. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want to take you on a, one of those excursions that took me to some place I really loved. It was in 1968, I believe. I went down to Memphis, Tennessee to Stax Records and recorded an entire album with Booker T and the MGs. <laughs> and that's when they were all alive, <laughs> before the drummer's wife uh, shot him to death, uh, L. Jackson Jr. there. But anyway, it was a great album. It had a lot of good uh, critical acclaim, but of course, it sold nothing. So we're going to do uh, one of the lead tracks from before you now. It's called Liberty. Three. 
We're going to pick up the tempo a little bit. I don't like uh, slow songs that much. Unless they're like really saucy ballads, and then I can get into them. But since we don't have any saucy ballads on the menu tonight, we're just going to go with the fast ones. This one is, uh, do y'all remember when we were younger? <laughs> and every time a hit record would come out, they'd make a dance. The kids would make a dance for it. You know what I'm talking about? The swim, the monkey, all of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we came up with a song that they just really couldn't make a dance for because it was too filthy. <laughs> the song is called Bend Over. <laughs> Let me see you shake a tail feather.
So I stopped having charted records in 1970. The last time I appeared on the, uh, the Hot 100. And then uh, some years later, from 1970 to 1983, in 1983, I came back into the Top 100 again with the following song. It was uh, produced by a, a guy that liked me very much. And, uh, well, at the time, anyway. And uh, his name was John Mellencamp. And so uh, we went in the studio and came out with this song. And it's a, it's a cover version, but the cool part of it, in my mind anyway, is the fact that Prince wrote it. And when Prince came to Detroit, he invited me back to his dressing room to tell me just how much he did enjoy my version of it. So, yeah. I thought it was fun. So here it is. Uh, up tempo, Romy. Uh, when you were mine. <laughs>
Thank you very much. As we uh, grow older, uh, life gets stranger. For example, uh, oh, Pat, did you see that woman outside when we were walking in here? The one, which one? The one like this. Arthritis in both hands. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's going to get uglier, folks. <laughs> I'm going to revert back to my club act. <laughs> uh, let's do some, uh, some of those early uh, hits for you. That, that might work. How about the very first one? Uh, the first top ten record was called Jenny Take a Ride. Uh, 
a little hooting or anything. This, uh, this means it's audience participation. So I don't know what you paid to get in here, but if you can't sing along with us, there's something deformed about you. Because I'm a cheap singer. There's a lot of better voices out there than mine. And so you ought to be able to keep up with me for sure. The song is called Bow Wow Wow. It's our dog song. Your part is real easy. The words that you have to sing are simply bow wow wow wow. Yeah, easy enough, right? Here's the hard part. You got to do them in time with the music. So, right, I see a bunch of Catholics practicing rhythm out there. <laughs> so, um, so what's going to happen is I'll sing it, and then I'll point the mic to you for an answer. Bow, wow, wow, wow. Bow, wow, wow, wow. Not bad. A little late, but not bad. So uh, we'll get rid of the Pony Express and get into uh, some uh, sort of computer service here. And just for jokes, I'm taping this particular song for my own enrichment and pleasure on the way back to the airport. <laughs> so, you don't know how much fun it is listening to these. And uh, here we go. Here comes the song. Get ready for your parts. The mic will come your way when it's... And you know what? You already proved you can do it. So do it with some feeling. Here we go.
Now we're going to do a song that we normally open with. Uh, you probably remember uh, the Righteous Brothers uh, had a, went to number 20 for them. And me and the group came out, and it went in, uh, I think, number 12. And this is like two months after they put it out, so they were kind of miffed. But we weren't. We knew what we were doing. So here we go. It's called Little Latin Loopy Lou.
to pick up the tempo a little bit because I don't like doing slow songs, especially ballads. I do like soulful ballads, though, once in a while when I can get all creamy and shit, but uh, here's something a little faster. It's off the Detroit album. I don't know if anybody ever heard that or saw it, but, uh, well, there you go. <laughs> this song is called Long Neck Goose. <laughs> Get real loose, hanging like a long neck goose, wrapping in your love so fine. Hold me there until the end of time, and I know someday now you're gonna need me, baby. I know someday now you're gonna please me, baby. I know someday, child, you're gonna take a chance and when you do, darling, gonna find a sweet romance. See me start to get real loose Hanging like a long neck goose Wrapping in your love so fine Hold me there until the end of time It must be good from the way you bleed me it must be good from the way you tease me must be good cause it keeps you moving In the early light you'll still be grooving Listen In the early light you'll find All your love is by design When I toss a trick to you I Take it all if you think you're doing When you see me start to get real loose Hanging like a long neck goose Wrapping in your love so fine Over there until the end of time Some of us here tonight could be accused of being around when Woodstock did occur. Uh, there was a song that became an anthem, okay? Uh, every generation has one of those, I, I do think. And this was the anthem for that uh, 
wild bunch of teenagers back in the 60s. And uh, we have pleasure doing it. Uh, I know it's not as good as the original, but what the hell, we like it. And so we're going to do it for you now. Wait, wait, I want to hear this. Really? Are you kidding? That happened? That, I wouldn't be talking about that in public. <laughs> well, yeah, I want to hear more. <laughs> Actually, I'm doing something else right now. So. <laughs> All right.
So we just got a message uh, from our boss, and uh, we're going to do uh, another song for you, and then uh, we're going to vacate, uh, and I'm sorry about that, but I really do hope you enjoyed our little uh, session. <laughs> We've got some good players up here. Uh, Patrick Harwood on keyboards. <laughs> Patrick, would you do me the honors of introducing Brad and Romy and Sean? <laughs> the band and Romy. <laughs> Paul Moore on guitar, on lead guitar. Sean Bondariff on bass. Brad Johnson on guitar and Jerome Day on drums. All right. Now. I got to do a date in Arkansas on the 4th of July. But before I do that, uh, this very band is going to be working down in Lake Orion uh, on the 1st. Is that correct? Yes. Oh, hi, Dinah. I didn't see you, Dow. You look wonderful. Yeah. I didn't know you were hiding over there. I, I wouldn't have said the things I said. <laughs> okay. Uh, here, here probably is the song that I'm best known for, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately. It's a good song. It's a great song. I love it. It's wonderful. But I really wish there's other songs that I've written that are much, much better. <laughs> so, but here's the one that seems to be the fan favorite. It's called Devil with a Blue Dress On.